Hi, I'm Cindy Cloward with Riley Blake Designs, and today's tutorial is a drawstring bag. This is the perfect youth beginner sewing project, and anyone's gonna feel so successful after they make this bag. You can customize it by the fabric you use. I've made one out of Mattel Hot Wheels fabric, perfect for all those little cars, and also the new Barbie fabric. And how fun is that for youth to put their favorite items in there and grab and go. So I'm gonna put these aside. And here's the fabric that you'll need to make this bag. So first we need to do some prep work before we assemble our bag. You notice there was a pocket in front and you can choose Coordinating fabric, it's nice to, for it not to be the same fabric. And if you do choose directional fabric, be mindful the direction the fabric is going. This is upside down, so this is gonna be the inside of my pocket. We want this to be the outside of the pocket. So give it a good, fold it in half, give it a good press or a steam. I like to use a clapper. This Taylor's clapper gives you a nice crisp edge. And now it's ready to top stitch. And I'm gonna just sew a little top stitch right on the top of this fabric. Okay, your pocket's ready to put on your other main body of your bag. And now we're gonna do the casing for the cording for the sides. So you're gonna take these two casings and you're gonna, you can do a half an inch or a fourth an inch on both sides. You're just gonna roll them in. You can finger press it like that. And then I just kind of pop it over and then give it a really good press. Put that there. The same to the other side. Finger press. Pop it over. This clapper is just going to give it a good press and absorbs the heat. So I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to do a top stitch on both of these sides, the folded side. All right, I've chain pieced that together so I can just clip the threads in between. And those are ready to go there. Okay, the last prep work I need to do would be the top casing for the cording, the top of the bag. So I take it over here. And again, a fourth inch on each side. kind of put it on. You don't have to have a clapper. It's just really nice to keep your, your rolls tucked under while it's cooling because sometimes when it cools it just needs that weight on it to stay nice and flat. There you go. Now I'm going to take it to the machine and on each one of these pieces, I'm going to top stitch on both sides. All right, we'll just clip on these threads. Now this needs to be pressed over in half. Let that 
clapper sit on there. You can finger press it first. It, it wants to flip up. I'm going to move that over here. Okay. over there. Now these small little pieces needed to be folded over one more time. Okay, now we're ready to start assembling our bag. So again, be mindful of what's going to be on the outside. You wouldn't want that upside down, so that is going to be, we're gonna put it this, so when it's flipped up, it's right side. We'll take our pouch for the front, and then be mindful of the direction. So this is, we want this to face up. So we're gonna put this over here. Just check yourself. Now this piece, you have rolled each side a half an inch in, so it's going to be a little bit shorter than your other piece. And you want that. We want a fourth inch on each side. So you're going to begin pinning once you've verified the placement of your top casing. Okay, we've got our both tops pinned. We're gonna take it to the machine and sew along the top using a fourth inch seam allowance. All right, you've got your two pieces sewn. Just gonna clip in the middle there. And the next thing we need to do is add our pocket. Now you could leave it one big pocket, just put it on the main part of your bag, but I'm going to sew a line down the middle so I could create two pockets. I'm gonna pin it in place. You fold it in half, mark your middle, be mindful of the direction of your fabric. I'm gonna sew at this end, come up. I'm gonna do just a teeny little triangle to give it extra strength. You could just go up and back, that would be fine but sometimes it's nice in these bags that they're being used to sew a little triangle there. All right, you've created your little pocket. You can't see it because you did matching thread. It would be nice to do coordinating thread too. Okay, let's grab our casings that are over here. Now they are going an inch and a half on the end of our bag. So this is what they look like. So when you're assembling the bag, you need to do the raw edges on the outside. Now is a really good time to grab a small ruler, measure up. This is one of Lori Hilt's little rulers. I love it. Perfect size. So I'm going to pin that here and pin it here. We're going to repeat on this side. Where'd it go? There it is. <laughs> Inch and a half up. Now I'm going to run a basting stitch for this casing um, around 
right here at the top of the pocket. A basting stitch is just a big stitch, the widest you can get. You can use a regular stitch, that's fine too, to keep your fabric in place when you put the top on this, when you're assembling it. So I'm gonna take it to the machine. It's gonna be a scant fourth an inch. Baste that around. Your two side casing pieces are sewn on. Now let's put right sides together. We're going to pin this all around. And you're going to line up, make sure your top casing pieces are lined up. Now, something you could do before you go to this step is you could top stitch the top of this right here. That would lay a little flatter, would look very nice, or you could zigzag this raw edge to finish it off. Either of those are good to do. But since we are just quickly putting this together, I'm going to skip those steps. I'm going to line up that casing on both sides and this is where that fourth inch is nice to have because you're just going to stitch down the side of this with that fourth an inch. So just pin about every three inches. Now that this is all pinned, I'm going to sew down the side using a fourth inch pivot at the bottom. Sew over the bottom, pivot, come to the top, back stitching on both sides. Okay. Clip any threads, and you're going to clip your corners for nice popped out corners. And now you're going to flip it inside out. You can poke it out just with your fingers. You can use a chopstick, or you have this turning tool that's nice. Just be careful not to poke out your corners, poke through the fabric. Okay, your bag is sewn. Now you just need to add your cording. You need 10 to 12 feet, and you're gonna cut that in half. Depending on what size person this is going to be given to, you can make the straps adjustable for them. So I'm gonna run the cording with a safety pin on the top. I'm gonna run, my end's gonna be here. I'm gonna run it all the way to, through the top, around, and back down, not off, repeat on this side. It's really quick to do. Okay, and your drawstring bag is all finished. You just need some toys to add to this fun bag. So you can put your little cars in the front pockets or inside the middle. Let's get Barbie in here. And now your drawstring bags are complete.